finds Pogba, should score this and there you go guys, we finally get the lead against Cardiff, 41st minute, Marcus Rashford, this could be it guys, Anthony Martial with the chance, gets the shots off and off the post and in, take that Bournemouth, they've been defending like crazy in this game. Hey guys, how is it going? It is S2G and welcome to the ninth episode of the Manchester United Career Mode series. And today's episode is going to be crazy guys because the transfer window is finally open. And of course, we're going to be bringing in a few new faces. We've got about £30 million to spend and also a few players to sell. And it should be an exciting episode for sure. We also do have some Premier League action, tough games against Spurs and also FA Cup time guys against Birmingham. A good chance for our youngsters. If if you guys are excited for all the transfer window madness, make sure to drop a like on the video. Let's shoot for a thousand likes once again and make sure to subscribe if you are new around here. Also a quick shout out to World of JCC, a pro clubs content creator. I recently joined his VFL team. I made my debut for his team a few days ago playing as their right back. And I think I did an okay job, probably not because my highlight of the entire game was this. <laughs> But anyways, if you guys want to see how I play for his team and all that sort of stuff, check out his channel. He's making a series on this. Click the i button on the top right of your screen to hop onto his channel. Subscribe to him, watch his series. And let's get on with today's video. Alright guys, we've got a lot of transfer stuff to discuss. Over 500 comments on the last episode and I went through most of them guys. So thank you all for your support and involvement in this series. Now, about the striker situation, Lukaku, a lot of you guys do want me to sell him. But instead of bringing in a new striker, you guys want me to play Rashford up front in that striker position and I think that is something we're going to do. Rashford is very clinical for the most part so we're going to try using Rashford as our striker, selling Lukaku and potentially bringing in a quality right winger or right midfielder. That seems to be the plan and also a lot of you guys do want me to sell Nemanja Matic, that is something we'll be looking into. Lingard though was an interesting one, a lot of you guys did want me to keep him but you guys did want Sanchez gone so a lot of transfer business to go through in today's episode and a lot of you guys didn't want me to sign a new right back because Dalot was there and he's the future right back so we're gonna stick with Trippier just for now so that's the plan and also yeah replacing Smalling is something that we got to do so a lot of business to go through in today's episode itself press conference time and if you guys want to get involved with this make sure to drop in your questions down in the comment section below you should maybe give priority to the youth academy not for this United career mode guys because we only plan to do like two seasons or three seasons maximum there's no need for us to involve the youth academy I much rather just use the youngsters we have at the club like Mason Greenwood and grow them in their overall so for this Manchester United career mode we won't be using the youth academy and also I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for the youth academy career mode to return I'll try and get an episode out for you guys this week it takes a lot of time to record that so just bear with me, hopefully this week you guys should get an episode of that series. Next question, thoughts on the Jack Grealish incident. Now, where do I even begin with this guys? So let me just tell you guys what happened first. Jack Grealish plays for Aston Villa and against Birmingham, one of their rivals, one of the Birmingham fans actually stormed into the pitch and attacked Jack Grealish, literally punched him and yeah, got caught of course, but what on earth was that? I've never seen such a thing happen on a football pitch, at least in a big league. The championship is very popular and like what on earth was that? But at least Jack Grealish did ultimately come out as the winner. He scored the winning goal in that game. That's incredible. But such stuff shouldn't be on a football pitch, guys. Just awful from the Birmingham fans and I really hope they get punished. Okay, so moving on to some transfer-related question. Will you pre-contract Rabio because his contract expires in the summer? Well, not for us now as Adrian Rabio has moved to Bayern Munich in this career mode so sadly we won't be able to sign him that's it for today's press conference let's move on you guys voted for Anthony Martial as your player of the episode and in heavy majority he was superb in the last episode contributed to a lot of goals scored as well so there you go Anthony Martial wins the player of the episode award so guys have gone ahead and put Alexis Sanchez Romelu Lukaku Chris Smalling and Nemanja Matic on the transfer list Hopefully we'll start getting offers for them soon and we can ship them away from Man United and bring in the replacements we need. I do have a few great transfer options for this window itself. First one being Ruben Neves to replace of course Nemanja Matic in midfield. I think a midfield of Neves, 
Pogba and of course Saul could be absolutely unbelievable guys it literally has everything so we want to try and bring in Neves in today's episode itself hopefully after selling Matic. Suso is another player I want to bring in you know to sell Lukaku move Rashford up front and Suso on the right that could be a really good option and the best part about Suso is that we do not have a similar player to him in our team I mean we do have great wingers like Martial, Lingard as well but they are not creative wingers guys. Suso can pick a pass he can go for goal as well and he offers us something completely different so he is another player I want to bring in so hopefully by the end of today's episode we would have signed both Neves and Suso. Honestly I'm not sure who to bring in for Sanchez's replacement or even in that centre back role so you guys can help me with that. For now though we've got some Premier League action as we face Newcastle United away from home they are 7th which means they're going to be a tough team to face and also just look at the top of the Premier League it's so close right now. City a point behind us but with a game in hand so we cannot afford to drop points. Let's get the win against Newcastle. A quick season goals update. I'm looking forward to potentially keeping a few more clean sheets in today's episode. And also, as we do have FA Cup games, hopefully the youngsters will get a chance to play. You know, the guys like Chong, McTominay, Mason, Greenwood and all. So that should be awesome. And also, Pogba just needs five more goal contributions and we'll be done with that objective and that should really help us complete our season goals we are yet to decide our forfeit and we should do that in like a few episodes or so as it is the holiday period right now in career mode a lot of players are not fully fit for this one and hence why i've got to go with this team so i've made a lot of changes potentially romelu lukaku's final game as a man united player jean felix lingard all get an opportunity Pereira as well in midfield that is our team let's get the three points Alex Teixeira, now Voland. What kind of team is this from Newcastle? I'm seeing Teixeira link up with Voland and Dombele getting the shot off. No wonder they're seventh. They've invested heavy in their team. And Dombele finding Matt Ritchie. And Dombele shoots. De Gea makes a sensational save, guys. Honestly, it took a couple of deflections as well. And De Gea still saved that. He's just unbelievable, guys. Like, look at that, guys. It takes a bit of a deflection. Hits De Gea. Brilliant keeping. Now Lingard finding Matic once again. Look, Romelu Lukaku finds Andres Pereira, finds his way to Lingard, here's Marcus Rashford, what a chance for Rashford, keeper makes the save, and on the rebound we couldn't score as well, Rashford really should have scored that. Here's Jesse Lingard, out wide now to Jao Felix playing down that left flank, here goes Jao Felix, finesses this one, Lingard could score and he does, what a goal from Lingard, I mean the luck involved with that goal, actually crazy, he took a deflection then Lingard, it just perfectly fell in front of him. And then he just had to tap it on with his head. And there you go. Manchester United make it 2-0. Great work from Jan Felix to be fair. But Lingard takes the credit for this one. Man United lead 1-0. Oh, here we go guys. Lukaku with a chance maybe. He's getting it onto his left foot. Should score. And there you go guys. Romelu Lukaku makes it 2-0 against Newcastle United. This was literally his first contribution to this game. So fair play to him. This could be his last game, but at least he's going down with a goal to his name. Manchester United make it 2-0 against, of course, Newcastle. Also an assist for Lingard, who's had a very good game. Lingard inside to Romelu Lukaku, finds Andres Pereira, gets there and scores 3-0 against Newcastle United. Now, you guys would probably not see Lingard's contribution to this goal because he was influential in the build-up play. And it just shows that Lingard playing in a central position is unreal, guys. No way I'm selling him now because now I've seen how to use Jesse Lingard in FIFA. 3-0 Manchester United. And that's that for this one. We get all three points against Newcastle. And I'm really happy with the way we played in this game. You know, this was not an easy game. Newcastle are seventh in the league for a reason. But we managed to get a good win against them. 3-0. And there you go, guys. Three points in the bag. Okay, this is definitely an interesting one. Sergio Romero, future at Man United. So the board want me to either sell him or, you know, use him in the first team. So what we're going to do is play him in the upcoming FA Cup game and see what happens. I don't want to sell Romero, guys, because he's a really good backup option okay so we've now received a transfer offer for smalling 13 million pounds not bad at all from bilbao and he is valued around the same amount so you know what i'm going to accept this and we're going to bring in a new center back probably next episode because i'm not sure who to bring in what's going on here guys Pereira is running out of contract and fiorentina want to sign him we can't let that happen guys i really enjoy using Pereira. Let's re-sign Pereira to Man United. No way is our boy Pereira leaving the club. He's such a good squad player to have. So let's quickly go and re-sign him to United. So this is what I'm offering Andres Pereira. £80,000 in his wages and a signing bonus of 300000 Let's hope he accepts this contract. Rotation squad role as well. 
five-year deal and he has accepted it. So Andres Pereira has re-signed with Man United. Another transfer offer for Smalling. It seems like there is a lot of demand for this guy. So we're going to accept this from Fiorentina as it's more money. We'll accept this and see which club does Smalling go to. Could we be seeing the magic of the FA Cup as we face Birmingham at home at Old Trafford, of course. And this is the team that I've gone for. The youngsters are getting their opportunities. Mason Greenwood, Angel Gomez, Chong all start this one. Even McTominay in midfield. Ja Felix as well playing down that left flank. Tierney and Dalot also get an opportunity. And also Romero is in goal. So we are basically using a very young and inexperienced team. But it's Birmingham, guys. We should be able to get the result against them. And hopefully... No Birmingham fan will storm onto the pitch and hit any one of our players because that'll be tragic. Let's get right into this one. Now Fred, out wide to Chong. Go on Chong, come on. Maybe another goal from him. Cuts this one back to Mason Greenwood who scores his first goal for Manchester United in this series. And there you go, we take the lead against Birmingham. Chong again doing absolute wonders down that right flank. I enjoy using him so much. And Man United have taken the lead against Birmingham. What a moment for Mason Greenwood. Birmingham could have a chance here. That's not good at all. Lindelof, oh, come on. That's a terrible defensive error from us and they've equalized. I mean, shocking defending. Romero couldn't really do much there. Smalling and Lindelof were actually comical there. Awful defending. Angel Gomez. Here we go, guys. Mason Greenwood chipping this one to Chong and that's absolutely brilliant. No, it's off the crossbar. Ja Felix then shoots on the rebound. That would have been something special from Chong there, but the crossbar denies him. So unlucky. Angel Gomez now out wide to Ja Felix. Come on, this could be a chance for us. Ja Felix cutting this one to Chong. And there you go, guys. We make it 2-1. And Chong scores. Manchester United to Birmingham 1. Credit to Ja Felix. That was a very good cross. The keeper almost got to it, but Chong was there. And of course, he just had to tap that one home. This could be an important goal for this game. Here goes Chong, guys. Look at the pace of Chong. How is he so quick now? Still Chong on the attack. Cuts this one to Angel Gomez. Could he be scoring his first goal? No, the keeper denies him that. Terrible finish, though. I mean, from that position, Angel Gomez should have scored it. Oh, come on. That's absolutely terrible defending from me. And just, oh, I feel like breaking my controller right now. This Adams guy has scored. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see that in the replay. Like, look at what I just did here. What? I mean... That's my fault, guys. I just don't clear the ball away when I need to. I'm just so bad at defending, guys. And it oh, it's honestly frustrates me so much. Oh, here we go, guys. Birmingham have been opened up here. Chong on the attack. We really should be converting from this chance. Still Chong. What can he do from here? Gets the shots off and he manages to score. Chong has made it 3-2 in the 80th minute of the game. I don't know how the keeper didn't save that because it was straight at him. But you know what? I don't care. Chong with a brace and an assist in this game to potentially send us through to the next round of the FA Cup. I mean, that was one hell of a run. I was thinking about the cutback, but Greenwood's movement just wasn't good enough there. But Chong, but Chong got the job done for us. What a game from Tahit Chong, guys, as we progress on to the next round of the FA Cup. He scored a brace and also got himself an assist, guys. Just unbelievable. I can't wait to see how good Chong will be at his full potential. And yeah, good to know that we are through to the next round. So Leo have come in with a 20.2 million pound offer for Matic. And I'm going to accept it, guys. I want to sell him as quickly as possible so we can improve the rest of our team. Oh my god, guys. Have a look at this. Real Madrid have shown interest in purchasing Romelu Lukaku for a fee of 82.7 million pounds. And guess what? We can actually ask more money for this guy. I mean, how much can we get for him? 100 million or so? Let's see what happens. So I'm countering with 100 million pounds to Real Madrid just to see what they come back and say. What? They're willing to give 100 million for Romelu Lukaku? What's going on here? This is insane. I, I wasn't expecting this. Could we have gotten more from them? I'm not sure, but I'll be happy with my 100 million pounds. So we have sold Nemanja Matic to Olympique Lyon. So let's quickly go ahead and bring in Ruben Neves from Wolves. Here we go guys, Ruben Neves, he's valued at about 25.5 million pounds. Let's see if we can get him for under 30 million, that would be a steal. Okay, so I am offering 30 million pounds for Ruben Neves. Let's see what his club comes back and says. It's a good offer, they want 36.1. You know what, I can work with that, but I'm going to counter and see if they'll accept 33 million pounds. I think that's a fair offer for Ruben Neves, the 21-year-old. 
Come on, accept it. There you go, guys. 33 million pounds and also a 5% sell-on clause for Ruben Neves. So these are Ruben Neves' demands. Important squad role, four years contract length, £70,000 per week and also a 600000 signing bonus. Let's see what his agent thinks about this. Come on, accept it. There you go, guys. Ruben Neves is now a Manchester United player. Honestly, what a signing this is. He's gonna... Honestly, what a signing this could turn out to be for us, guys. He's 21. He's got very high potential as well. And some of his stats already look unbelievable, guys. He's got great long passing, vision, shot passing, shooting as well, composure. The perfect player to have in midfield. Transfer offer for Alexis Sanchez. It seems like Real Madrid want to sign another player from us. £26.8 million. Pounds, and apparently we can get more money for him. So I'm going to negotiate. I'm going to counter with £35 million pounds for Alexis Sanchez. Just to see what Real Madrid come back and say. If we can sell a 30-year-old for £35 million, pounds, that would be insane. Well... Doesn't look like it. So I'm going to accept this offer, guys. He's 30. I feel like 26 is still a good amount of money. So there you go. Alexis Sanchez to Real Madrid. We've now got about 120 million in our transfer budget. And also, we've still got about 20 million left to come from the Sanchez deal. So we are in a really good spot right now. And of course, we still need to bring in Sanchez's replacement. Lukaku's replacement, of course, a winger. And also a centre-back to replace Smalling. So there is just so much business for us to do in today's episode and even in the next episode any suggestions now are welcome okay guys now that we do have about 120 million pounds to spend it is time to go big Usman Dembele or Gareth Bale right now are my options we do have the money to sign either of them guys and it could be immense for the series imagine having Martial Rashford and Dembele up front that would be just the most lethal attack in FIFA and I want to sign one of these guys, you know, Dembele or Gareth Bale. Dembele is probably the player I like more because he's younger and he's just insane in this game. But you know what, guys, before I make this transfer, because I know it's a big name signing, I want you guys to let me know what we should do here. I definitely want to go big for that right wing position. So let me know your suggestions in the comment section below. So we're going to wait until, you know, pulling the trigger on one of these transfers until the next episode. But for sure, we're going to make a big name signing in this transfer window. For Chris Smalling's replacement though, Eder Militao from Porto seems like a fantastic option. The Brazilian has been sensational for Porto this season. He's got 87 potential if I'm not wrong and he could be really valuable for us as a backup player and definitely one for the future. Let's sign him up in today's episode. Well, probably not because he's just recently joined his club. That's a bit embarrassing, isn't it? Well, as we cannot sign Ezer Militao, we're going to move in for Diot Upamecano, a player that a lot of you guys have suggested me to bring in, a player that I've been wanting to try in career mode for a long time, but it just hasn't worked out. This might be the opportunity, guys. Let's try and sign the 20-year-old from RB Leipzig. So I'm going to start off with a good offer of £18 million for the youngster. Let's see what RB Leipzig come back and say. That's a fair offer. I mean, this is a fantastic deal, I suppose. 18 million for someone as talented as Upamecano. That's brilliant. So it seems like this is what Upamecano wants. A five-year contract length, rotation squad roll, £45,000 per week in wages and also a £400,000 signing bonus. He does want a bit more in wages. It's all right. We'll accept it. And that's that, guys. Our second signing of this transfer window. Diot Upamecano makes his move to Manchester United. So we have drawn Wycombe in the next round of the FA Cup. Should be a fun game against them. We're again going to use our youngsters in that one. But that should be in the next episode. For now, we've got Brighton in the Premier League. Here we freaking go, guys. This is how we're lining up against Brighton. I'm so excited for this game because we're giving Ruben Neves and Upamecano their debuts for the club. And again, you guys know how tight it is in the Premier League at the top. So we've got to win this game. It's at Old Trafford. We are the favourites. We've got Rashford starting up front as striker. Pogba back in the lineup. Saul, Lingard, Martial all starting. Let's get the win. Marcus Rashford now, he's got big responsibility now on his shoulders, playing in a central position, and he might already score for us, Marcus Rashford, there you go guys, he's already performing for us as our main man up front, Rashford makes it 1-0 against Brighton, if I'm not wrong, it was Saul with the assist for that one, it was a great pass from Saul, have a look at that, Pogba involved as well, oh that's brilliant from Saul there, what a deft pass there, and of course Rashford with the clinical finish, 1-0 for United. Here's Lingard. Pogba. Now Ruben Neves shoots first time and forces a big save from Ryan. Well, this is not looking good. Brighton on the attack now. And they've actually scored. My defending. Why is it so bad, guys? Like, honestly, 
Every team just ends up scoring against me, even teams that are in the championship or are just bottom of the Premier League. A bit embarrassing, but at least there's enough time for us to get back into the game. Ruben Neves, in behind to Marcus Rashford, he could be scoring another goal for us. Rashford shoots and this guy is just phenomenal up front. As a lone striker, Rashford is just unbelievable and Manchester United make it 2-1. And of course, I think it was Ruben Neves with the assist. I'm not sure. Let's have a look at that again. Yes, it was Ruben Neves with the assist on his debut. That's fantastic. That's good defending there from Luke Shaw. Staying close to his man. But good cross played in. Manolas gets it away, but not the best of clearances there. Could be a chance for our opponents. Kieran Trippier, you hero. What a block there from him. That could have easily been two all. Corner for us. We know Trippier is good with set pieces. That is a good delivery into the box. And Saul with the header scores. Let's go, guys. 3-1 now against Brighton, an assist for Trippier and another goal for Saul. This could be it for the game, guys. And that could be it for this game, guys. A very important goal coming from Saul. Ruben Neves now. Oh, that's a brilliant pass to Anthony Martial who should score. Keeper makes the save. Come on. What a pass that was from Ruben Neves. That pass alone deserved an assist. Back to Marcus Rashford. Rashford finding Saul out wide. Could cross this one in. That's a good ball played in. They get it away. Not really. Martial shoots and Ryan forced to make a sensational save. Imagine if that would have gone in. Probably goal of the season. And that's that for this one. I'm really glad today's game worked out because I was a bit worried, you know, with all the players that we've sold, you know, like big names like Lukaku and Matic that we might struggle. But Rashford and Ruben Neves just balled out in today's game. And it's great to see that a team is in proper shape right now. And with a few more signings, we can probably take Manchester United to the next level. So Alexis Sanchez has been sold to Real Madrid and we've got about 125 million pounds to spend. We can basically sign any right winger we want apart from maybe Leo Messi but maybe even Messi who knows guys but that transfer is going to be in the next episode and I need you guys to be involved. Who should we sign? Dembele, Bale or maybe someone else but it's going to be a massive episode guys a proper good signing to improve the team and it's not just all the transfer stuff we've got another FA Cup game to come in the next episode Premier League action as well probably will try and fit in four games in the next episode should be a lot of fun we continue to be top of the Premier League although it's getting even more interesting now because West Ham are in second place with 46 points but we do have a game in hand over them City a couple of points behind us Chelsea just four points behind us Everton as well with four points and then Liverpool with like seven points behind us the title race just continues to heat up a quick season goals update we've actually made a good amount of progress I suppose in today's episode now on 10 clean sheets just eight to go we might be able to complete that objective and also 23 appearances from our youngsters that's fantastic with more FA Cup games to be played I'm sure we'll get that objective done as well and this was one of the first episodes in the series where Paul Pogba didn't have a single goal contribution probably because he only played one game before we end off today's episode it is time for you guys to vote for your informed player of the episode and your nominees for today are option one being Chong he was superb guys in today's episode really got us through that FA Cup game and of course because of him we're in the next round scored a couple of goals and assists as well and hence why he's one of your nominees the second one being Marcus Rashford another sensational episode from him now playing as our lone striker and of course he scored a brace on a, you know to honor that occasion to replace Luke Lukaku so those two are your options click the i button on the top right of your screen to vote for either Chong or Marcus Rashford and that is that for today's episode next episode I genuinely can't wait hopefully it'll be out for you guys tomorrow we're gonna make that big transfer guys probably the biggest so far in this series and it's gonna be a lot of fun a lot of Premier League action as well transfer deadline day it should be a fun episode but if you guys have enjoyed this one drop a like in the video that really helps the channel grow subscribe if you're watching my content for the very first time and I shall see you guys next time for another Manchester United career mode episode.